we have two options tomorrow. They are riding the 37V tubeless wheels with 13mm tubeless tire. There's an insert inside for if they puncture. And then we have two riders on the six deep uh, tubular wheels with a 13mm tubular tire. Uh, yeah, I think uh, the, the, the three sectors that we also do in uh, Paris-Roubaix are the, are the key sectors. Uh, they're, they're the longest one, the hardest one, they come short after each other. So, uh, and today also close to the finish. Um, everything before that will be, I think, super nervous. Will be a fight all day. Um, and yeah, it's, uh, from 2018 we know this is uh, not an easy day. To this appointment. I think uh, it's nice to be one of the strongest in the race, um, but uh, unfortunately only for sixth place, so uh, that, uh, that's a bummer. Well, I think I was focused in the morning, but I told my dad the day before, my parents following the race, and I told them the day before they should be at the finish. But definitely the plan was to go in a break and then win the race from there. I, I do good sprints, but well, I didn't win a bunch sprint, and I know it's really hard to, to win it, so I didn't want to risk that. It would be nicer to make the selections myself and decide who is well, uh, who will be at the finish line with me. If Kung Hee would go, Ghana would look at me. And then I would be the guy who has to close it all the time. But to be honest, I expected that they would be with me in the attack. But I think the heat that day was really killing people. And yeah, there you see what the heat can do. But it's easier to control two other guys than it is to control five other people. So yeah, that was the main thing about that attack. And also, if I could go solo, it would have been a nice win as well. I think I might have just yelled at him, like, let's go, let's go, because... And I think he was yelling slower, but, you know, it's the time to go, it's the time to go, and... Yeah, something like that, it's super nice, especially, you know, when you can just watch the way he's pedaling and tell that he's on a good day, so it's no question who you go for. You know, normally... In a situation like that, I'd look for myself and be like, oh yeah, yeah, today's the day I can maybe do this, but you saw his determination and that was never a question. And to see him finish it off was super nice. So I yelled to him like, Quinn, easy, 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 and then he looked back and then he got me on the wheel and then he went really, really hard. So Quinn, he did a perfect uh, job that day and he's a huge part of, uh, of that win. Of course I had said uh, like, put a mark on a few stages and this was definitely one of them. Stage 13 was, let's say, the first of the last options. There was not that many left after that. Um, so it was all or nothing for, for that day. Um, and yeah, luckily it played out really well. His first win in a Tour de France, Matt Pedersen wins stage 13. I think cycling is about give and take. And uh, if I expect that they help me, uh, I should also help them. Uh, so on the days that wasn't fitting me super well, and also I knew that the day after was not a day for me, then of course I went all in to, to help the guys.
of your week at home? I was working. <laughs> you didn't miss us? I did actually. Today maybe we are a little bit uh, up there and try to help to get them in. If it's possible, but it's a good road. If it doesn't go first, but try to be ready. Yeah, to be back in a breakaway, uh, even in a mountain stage, is not the best uh, for me, but uh, yeah, this feeling is nice and then uh, I miss it for sure. Because I look like a joke with these arms when I swim. I thought I might as well go all out. The swimming hat I wear is very yellow and it has a banana on it and it says banana hammock. I think I'm in this one, but I'm not sure. No, I'm for sure not in that one because it says privé. Hi there. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna make it to the start now. It's always. Maybe you should have had a coffee. <laughs> we we have a we need to quite a flat it. start, and then we have some less flat parts uphill, and I think these will be quite hard. The downhills are going to be the biggest difficulty though. This one and this one. Very, um, because they're technical or bad. So. Very technical. Very technical descents here. So riders all have to be a bit careful and maybe we'll see some of the best descenders come to the fore. Didn't pass out though. No? Fucking sport. Hi Sean. Hello. How's this little dog going here? Huh? That's a new one. It's a new dog. Yeah. yeah. Uh, today I give a water and my colleague Kenneth give a sugar. Yeah, Quinn is, is really strong and it's impressive how good of a tour he had. Uh, it's the first year uh, he's doing the tour and it's a, it's a special race, it's faster here, it's harder. And he's, let's say, he, he starts the race so unimpressed like it's any other race he's doing and he's just grabbing it by the balls and racing uh, every day. And, yeah, we see yesterday he get the most uh, competitive rider of, of the States as well, so Quinn really impressed me in this tour. Yeah, for sure, you, you know, when you tell, especially in high school or whatever, you tell your friends you're a cyclist or whatever you want to call it, and you kind of get like a bit of an eye roll and a laugh that they understand what the tour is. So for the first time to be there, you know, it's, it's super nice, especially 
you know, the number of people that I haven't talked to in years and they send you a message that they saw you racing the tour. It's, you know, it's something special for us, especially like you say, you know, really, even though the other races in the year are super nice, it's the one time it matters to the rest of the world. So how to be there is, is special. The whole year, the whole season, I have already good feelings in the TT. Uh, I have a really good position on, on the new TT bike since last year. Uh, fast, fast suit also. Uh, even Santini did a, did a good job this week, making it even a little bit faster, taking out some material um, where, where the suit could, uh, could be a little bit more tight. And um, yeah, I think also I gained a lot of confidence last year in the TT, so uh, I was motivated for today. Uh, I tried to save some energy the last few days already to, to give it a try today and um, yeah, I think uh, I did a good result, so I'm happy with that. Watching my bike? Walking, I think. Today, I can win. You're gonna win. I have a good feeling. Yeah. Yeah. Well, in the sprint or a solo? In the sprint. Ah. I don't know, but last year there was a guy talking there. What? <laughs> it's like when a Formula One car has to do like the um, the qualifying. They always, they just have minimum of gas in and I, I'm just empty now, completely empty. first week but with the Signex and yeah it did not went at all what we wanted I think as a team it worked well fairly well because we still have seven here we just need to we just miss one and they more or less all get a bit with the stomach and so on so at that way we did well um, it just that we missed the first week where we have put so much uh, ideas and ambitions in. I think if everything just went just a little bit normal, we will have destroyed everything at the start. The first one. Ah, it's good, no? Uh -huh. This feels better though. <laughs> Just another tour finish. Huh? <laughs> Next week is another race. <laughs> no, it's always nice, but uh, I think it was uh, a very, very special tour, starting in, in my home country, finished with a Danish winner. Uh, yeah, very, very special. Uh, I'm happy. I'm happy that I could be a part of it. <laughs> <laughs>